Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Dreams in the Witch House. So in the last episode, after some trouble and hassle, we finally managed to block this rat hole with this wooden plank. We also met one of our fellow lodgers, uh, Joe, whom I like to refer to as Working Joe, because he works at the local factory, and he likes to work on his uh, other uh, side projects for his customers. And uh, what else? Well, that was pretty much it, I think. And oh, and we also learned that we can earn money uh, by getting our weekly allowance uh, from our aunt. And we can also do some odd jobs for Mrs. Uh, Bombrovsky, I think was her name. And as for what we're going to do today, well, we are probably going to stay indoors because it's raining outside and we don't have a raincoat. So yeah, without further ado, let's go and ask if there's something that we can do for Mrs. Bombrovsky. Bon what does she have to have such a difficult name? Sounds Russian or Polish. Well, anyway. So let's call for her. Yes, what, yes, what is it now? Mm, ask about the odd jobs. Mm, tell about Joe's warning. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, I, I forgot about that. And once we told Joe that where our room is, he got kind of panicked and, and told us to uh, switch rooms because apparently that room has a very bad reputation so well yeah let's ask for this first i had a little chat with joe uh, masuremich and he said that i should get another room what he wouldn't tell me more but he was quite upset when he heard where my where my room is would you happen to know what he meant masuremich is a drunk and a superstitious fool well, he seemed quite sober last time we talked to him. You shouldn't listen to his ramblings. They will give you ideas. Yes, but... There is nothing wrong with the room, besides the rats. I checked and cleaned it thoroughly before you moved in. Now, did you have anything else to ask, or was that it? Well, got any jobs? Do you still have work to do around the house? Let's see... The yard could use raking. Well, that's out of the question because it's raining. The rain gutters are clogged and could use cleaning. Oh, great. There's a big pile of wood that needs chopping. But are you uh, sure you want to do this now? It's raining. Yeah, my, my thoughts exactly. You'll get drenched. Rake the yard, clean the rain gutters, chop the uh, firewood. Um, I really don't want to go outside into the rain. On second thought, I would rather not do this now. Suit yourself. Okay, nothing else. Bye. <laughs> I assume that Joe himself is, um, is at work. I wonder, is anyone living uh, here? I don't want to disturb the other lodgers. Okay, fine. That's fair enough. That's fair enough. We still have only three dollars, yes. We still have the hammer as well. This is our this is only one portion of food that we have left. Okay, well I guess we just study, I guess. What else can we do? Five hours pass, we studied uh, we came, came some more, was it math knowledge? Math? I assume it was math. Curiously angled corner. Mm, examine the wall. I don't think that we did this. This part of the wall seems a bit soft. That's not good. The wall might be rotten and mold ridden. Hmm, can we, I don't know, break the wall? I would need to have the landlord's permission to break through the wall. Yeah, that's true. Listen for more noises. Damn rats. You actually listen to them for one hour. I could hear them scurrying in the partitions. I already have enough firewood on me. I can't carry any more. Now let's see, what's your status? Peckish. What the hell does that mean? Does that mean that you are not exactly hungry, but 
but you but you feel like eating something. Rested, not sick, warm, dry, and uninjured. I mean, what else can we do? Can't really go outside. Well, we can go, but it's not exactly a good idea. And I highly doubt that the raincoat will cost only three dollars. Should we just be a good student and st study some more? Notes and letters. What was this? To-do list. Oh, yeah. A letter from Aunt Margaret. What do we have here, anyway? Work on the theory papers. Well, we can't because we need to study more of the occult. Get a grade A or B or better at an exam. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, Aunt Margaret also said that if we do extremely well on the exams, then we can get more uh, allowance. Get a student card. Well, we need to wait for that for maybe one more day. <coughs> Excuse me. Study the special collection. In time, we need to talk. We need to first. We first need to talk to. Uh, what's it? Professor Armitage. Persuade Joe to tell his story. Well, I, I suppose we could do that, but. I didn't want to click that. But I doubt that he's home yet. So let's study some more. I know it's boring, but. What else can we do? Five hours pass. The noise of the rats scurrying around distracted my studies. I'm hungry. Okay, well... We better eat this. Tasty. I'm full. And that... That was the last of our food. We need to buy some more tomorrow. Now, maybe... Joe is inside. It's open. Hi, Walter. Come on in. Thanks. What's up? Hey, Joe. Yes? Mm, let's start with chit, chit chat, I guess. Some rain, huh? When it rains, it pours. Well, so much from that. Okay, what's wrong with our room? You mentioned something about my room. Can you specify why I should change my room? Oh. It's probably nothing. Oh, come on, don't be like that. Forget it. You sounded quite serious when we spoke about it. Well, it's in a bad condition. There is mold in the inner walls and so on. You should get a better place, if possible. I see. I'll let you get back to your work. Okay, so we do need some alcohol to persuade him. Make him spill the beans, so to speak. What was this? Beginner's Guide to Chemistry. See you around, Walter. Yeah, uh, Aunt Margaret sent this book as well. Can Might as well read this as well. It's too dark to study. Ah, makes sense. Seems I have a lot to learn about chemistry. At least the rats were quiet. Now, oh, hey, we didn't get any... What's that? What's with that sound? That sounded so ominous. I don't know, was it the rats or was it the music? Well, whatever the case, I... We might as well go to sleep. This was a... Short, uneventful day. Those bloody rats. The rats kept me awake. Oh no. The rat hole cover has been, has been devoured. Devoured? The rats must be ravenous. I have a lecture today. And we had just happened to be tired. Well, that's just great. Can we use the firewood to... The lock is shaped too unevenly to cover the hole properly. Well, that's... Damn it. I guess we should tell Mrs. Bamborowski. Come in. Yes, what is it now? Uh, complain about the rat noises. Ask for a new plank for the rat hole. The rats devoured the plank that I used to cover the rat hole in my room. Do you have another that I could use? 
No, that was the only plank. I see. Well, what are we going to do about this issue? I can't have rats running around in, in my room. Go and ask M Masurevich. He holds all kinds of junk to his to his place. Lumber, scrap metal and whatnot. Very well, I'll ask him then. Good. Now was that all? Well, I suppose that's all for now. Bye. Farewell. Well, we we can talk to we'll talk talk to Joe later later tonight. Newspaper. It's today's newspaper. No one will miss it, miss it if I take it. Okay, well, yeah, let's get to the let's get to the university. I don't know when the I don't I don't know when the lecture start ex starts exactly, so might as well go there now. Oh, wrong. And what is the the map here? Ah, it was uh, here. Wait, what was what was that? Orn's gangway. Ah, oh, we can buy some booze from there. I believe that this is the time during the prohibition. I think is what you called it. Uh, basically, they made alcohol illegal for a while in the United States in the 1920s. I think it was. So that's why. The, so that's why the, there were there were many criminal gangs selling uh, dark booze illegally. Now, but where is the lecture now? Door to audit auditorium? I guess it's there. I can't do anything with it. Well, what does it say? Auditorium. Okay, fair enough. Course schedule. My next course is organic chemistry. Required reading for the course is elements of chemistry. Next lecture is today. My exam is March 8th. And we did read elements of chemistry, didn't, didn't we? Yeah, we read it uh, in the library. What's this note? Missing. Lost student card somewhere in main building. I found. Please return. If found, please return it to Alison Whitman or the library. Alison Whitman, huh? Additional information at the library information desk. One dollar reward offered. Okay, that's one way to get money, I suppose. Well, let's go to the auditorium. This is where our lecture is, I think. The law of conservation of Mass dates from Lavoisier's discovery that that mass is neither created nor destroyed in chemical reactions. Okay. In other words, the mass of an element at the beginning of a reaction will equal the mass of that element at the end of the reaction. Oh, thank God, no more text to read. Text that I can't understand. It took five hours, Jesus. Okay, it's dusk already. Hmm. Let's go and ask if, if our student card is here. Excuse me. How can I help you? Hmm. Ask if the student card is ready. What was your name again? Walter Gilman. Let's see. Yes, I have it right here. Okay, nice. Enjoy your new card. Thanks. We gained some sanity from that. Hmm. Ask about the special collection. Could you tell me again about the special collection? You can reserve a time to study the books here at the university. All inquiries about the special collection go to Dr. Armitage. His office is through that door on your right. Okay, I'll go see him then. Okay, so he is here now. Hmm, what about the... I noticed that somebody had lost their student card. Can you tell me more about it? Oh yes. There is a small reward for the finder of the card. And it's supposed to be somewhere here in the university building. If you want more details, please ask the person who lost the card. And who's that? A girl called Alison Whitman. Actually, she's standing right there now. Oh. She'll tell you more about her missing card. She has a blue shirt and a dark hair. Okay, thanks. Well, we are done for now. So it's this one here. Excuse me. Yes? Are you Alison Whitman, the one who had lost her student card? 
Yes. Have you found it? No, I haven't found it yet. Drat. I really need the card for, for the upcoming exams. And I would hate to have to buy a new one. Ask about the day Allison lost the card. Do you have any idea where the card might be? I'm sure it's somewhere here at the university. What were you doing on the day you lost the card? I returned some books to the library in the morning. After that I attended a lecture. What next? Yes. I went to the archives to search materials for my essay. It was already getting dark when I noticed I had lost the card. The university was closing and I had to leave the building. And that's all? Pretty much, yes. Mm, ask about the books that Alison returned to the library. Mm, okay. What were the names of the books you returned to the library on the day you lost the card? The first was a book called Seven Pillars of Wisdom. The second was Coming of Age in Samoa. I see. Well, might as well. You said that you were searching for research materials in the university archives. Yes, that's correct. What materials were you looking for? Let me think. Yes, I remember now. I was studying the records of the Essex Archaeological Society. I see. Goodbye. So you'll help me to find a card? Yes, I'll help you. I think there's a good chance to find a card if we follow uh, all the clues. That's very nice of you. Alright, I'll get back to it. I think a proper introduction is in order. Alison Whitman Walter Gilman I don't know anyone here yet, so it's nice to meet a friendly face. Are you a freshman or... Yes, I just started here. Me too. If you ever need a study partner, let me know. Well, that would be nice. We might be able to help each other. Sure, I'll keep that in mind. All right, well, we have we have found a new friend. Now, let's try to find that card. I'm just wondering, maybe it's somewhere somewhere in here. Somewhere on the floor here. I did ask about the... I'm hungry. Well, crap. I did ask about... about the books. So I... so I could just... so I could just check that where... that... that in which... that in which collections those books are located, but might as well do it this way. Nothing on the floor. Nothing on the floor here. Nothing here either. Okay, so it's not here. And it's not in here either. Well, let's go downstairs. Hmm. Can I go to the auditorium? It's locked. Okay. Hmm. What is this late? Archive. Special collection. And that's locked. Oh, it's not. She did... Uh, Check the archives, I think. Let's see. Archives. Okay, well this place looks curious. An archivist. Index book. Well, let's not check those. Is it that? Uh, no. How about here? No. It's a sign for archive room num number four. Yeah, I know. Well, 
Well, it's not here either. Hmm. Not here either. Crap and God damn it. Well, we might as well ask him. Maybe he has. Maybe he found it. Excuse me. Yes. Ask about the university records. Nah. Goodbye. And is this the special collection or what is this? Special collection. That must be locked. Yes, it is. It's locked. It's already dark. Yeah, the clock is ticking. It's not underneath the uh, the chairs or tables or anything, is it? No. I have nothing to say to him. Let him read his book. Sure. Ah, oh, she's gone. It's not in the fireplace, is it? There's nothing in the fireplace? Okay. What should I start to study? Nothing. Just look for the... Uh, student card. Ah, oh, she's here. Okay. I don't think I need to manipulate the diorama. It's a diorama of the university campus. There's a library, the, sec the school of medicine, the faculty office building, the quad and dormitories. The attention to detail is good, but not great. Where the hell is it? Okay, maybe we do need to. Actually, yeah. Let's ask. Let's let's ask her. Ask her again. Any luck finding my student card? Haven't found it yet. I guess I just have to buy a new one. Hmm. About studying together, missing student card. Yes. She's repeating the same things. Um, seven pillars of wisdom and coming of age in Kamoa. Records of the Essex Archaeological Society. That's a mouthful. Okay, well, let's check the... Let's check the seven pillars of wisdom. Seven pillars of wisdom. This is the book that Alison returned recently. Okay, and then... What was the other one? Uh, seven pillars of wisdom and... Coming of age in Kamoa. Let's see. Coming of age in Samoa. Okay. And, uh... Oh, wait, did I check that? Oh, God damn it. Okay, so seven pillars of wisdom, uh, collection five. Biography, okay. And then this is a uh, collection one. Anthropology, the field that I'm studying as well. Okay, so let's check the coming of age. Uh, did I kind of coming of age in Samoa? Okay, let's check the book. The coming of age in Samoa by Margaret Me Mead. Nothing here. Okay. And then the seven pillars. It was five. Uh, but uh, where is the seven? S, S, where is S? S here. Somewhere. Where is the...
Hold and release left mouse button for a bigger push. Okay. But no, where is that? Where is the seven pillars? Don't tell me that someone else uh, I took the book already. Where the hell is it? There's no, no other... Seven Pillars of Wisdom, why the hell is it in there? I'm not quite there. Can we reach it from here? Oh, goddammit, I... Hmm. Well, can you... Climb the ladders? Guess not. Okay, let's try this. All the way there. I'm very tired. Well, we... Oh, oh, that was a... Not a glitch, but... It's a sign that we are tired, obviously. Ah, okay. We can get it, get it like this. The card better be in here. Oh, The Seven Pillars of Wisdom by T.E. Lawrence. Nothing here. What do you mean, nothing here? Oh, that's our card. Okay, so it must be the... It must be the archaeological uh, research thingy. In the archives. Don't leave. I should have done this when I first came here. But of course I, I didn't think about it. I was being too lazy. Uh, hoping that the card would be somewhere on the floor. Okay, so... Archive index book. Uh, publications, thesis, dissertations, local history. I assume that it's his uh, at history. Hmm. Wait. Um. Financial records, board of overseas, governing boards, treasurer, Miskatonic buildings. Collections. Well, I want to go back. Can you help me here, please? Tell me about the university records. What can you tell me about the records stored here? The, un the university archives hold different types of memos and records. Some of them are published by Miskatonic University and deal with the administration and history of the building. Some are old newspapers. Some are documents from former students. Then there are the additional collections dealing with Massachusetts Massachusetts local history. I see. Well, I guess we just have to figure out how to use this. Student organization records, collections, theses, dissert, dissert, dissertations, personal archives. What are these? The items are kept behind the lock the locked door, I can't get to them. There are various historical items on display, all forgotten and covered in dust. It's a big cabinet that has various historical items on display. Student assistant, can you help me? Excuse me? I'm very busy right now and I can't be disturbed. Please go away. Yes, you look very busy. Yeah, I can't find it like this. Hmm. 
There's no way that I wait. What do they say? Room number. But that doesn't specify that what records it has. So how does this work? Um, local history. Hmm. Financial records. Board of Overseers. Governing boards. These are all in three. Let's check the three then. Well, well, didn't we just come from there? I guess we did. How the hell do you find anything in here? Okay, let's go and talk to... Was it Allison? Well, Whitman anyway. Hopefully she hasn't left yet. Okay, you're, you're still here. Good. Haven't found it yet. You don't need to buy a new one, don't worry. Mm. Let's see. Ask about the essay materials in the records room. I was in the archives room. Is it the same place? What were the materials? Mater what were the materials you were looking for at the archives again? I was studying the records of the Essex Archaeological Society. Okay. And I did check the books. So the card was not inside one of them. Can we ask her about the archives? That's a borrowing books about special collection. Ask if the librarian has seen Alison. Yeah, we... We know where she is. And that's the... Dr. Henry Armitage, the head librarian. Okay, oh, can we find it here? What was it? Archaeological study of Essex, or how did it go again? Um, is it E? Okay, sorry, my dear, I have to bother you again with this same damn question. Ask about the essay materials in the at the archives. I was studying the records of the Essex Archaeological Society. The records of the Essex. Okay. Records of. So is it R? <laughs> Robinson Crusoe. And Romeo and Juliet. Okay, so it's not... It must be at the archives. It must be at the archives. Essex County Records. Now page 10. Arkham Co Court Record... Arkham Court Records... Haverhill Court Records. I don't care about court records. Let's see. Um, hmm. What was that? Uh, I read some sort of society collection. Uh, St. Patrick's uh, abstinence and benevolent society collection. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know where the hell is it. No idea. Oh, I don't know that which which one of which one of these it is. Essex Patriot. 
I don't I don't see any uh I don't see any mentions of archaeology. I how did it go again? I remember the words records, Essex and archaeology. Essex Institute Historical Records. You would think that it's you would think that it's this. Room one. Thirty two. Two. The box is filled with files. It would take some time to go through them. Well, examine the papers. I search all the papers, but there is nothing interesting there. Well, shit. The label doesn't have any description of the contents. Just the call number. I would I would need to take a closer look look to see what's inside. People sure had it. Sure had it tough back in the 1920s. They sure had it tough. Okay, I need to look at I need to look at this again. It's not the the igneous rocks of Essex County, is it? Why does it have to be so goddamn? Goddamn difficult. Essex Patriot. Local newspapers. 373.2. This one. Examine the papers. I reach all the papers, but there's nothing interesting there. The university is closing for the day. Well, damn it. Sorry, Alison. I just couldn't do it. What's our situation? We are very tired and also hungry. Well, nothing is open at this at this hour, so might as well go home. I feel so bad for was it Allison? Well, whatever. It's what Whitman is. I don't want to disturb Joe at this hour. Okay, it's that late. That late. Fine. Okay, well, let's just get some good night's sleep. Or we would if they got... Oh, shit! What a horrible dream. It looked like the rat had a tiny human face. Or was it a dream? Maybe I was only half awake and my dream got mixed up with reality. Yeah, that's most likely it. I must do something about those rats. They get my imagination working overtime. What a cold day it is. The insulation in this room seems to be non-existent. Okay, so we are... Well, it doesn't say that we are cold. And yet we are still tired. Sunny minus 25%. Well, we don't need to go anywhere or do anything today, uh, particularly, so we can just chill. But we should try and get some food, I think. It's Friday now. Okay, well, I think that I'm going to end this episode here. We have been playing for, well, we have been gone through two days now, so that should be more than enough. But I still feel bad that we couldn't find the goddamn uh, library card, uh, or the student card, uh, for, uh, for Whitman. That's really a shame. I would have really loved to make a good impression on her. But hey, it is what it is. But now, in the next episode, well, I think that we should get some food for one. And also, maybe we should just rest again, have a nice nap. And if possible, we should also try and talk to Joe and ask him if he could help us with this rat hole by, by giving us a wooden plank or something that we can use to block this again. Maybe something sturdier, like, like, a, metal, like a metal plate or something, I don't know. But we'll see in the next episode. So, until then, thank you for watching once again, and see you next time for more Dreams in the Witch House.